Yo, what up everybody? We're here at the AWSI in Hood River, which is the North American trade show. We've got all the brands here. We're currently in the Ride Engine booth with Coleman Buckley, founder of Ride Engine. I went to his presentation yesterday and found it super interesting and I thought it was a really good opportunity to share his story of how he created the hard shell harness. So in this video, we're gonna give you a full rundown of the evolution of the hard shell harness. Coleman, take it away. So uh, about seven years ago, eight years ago, um, I had one of my first kite harnesses and the insides of it were totally flat. And I had the idea that if I made an inflating harness, it would sort of fit to all my curves. So I took my old Dekine Pyro, ripped out all the guts, put in a kite bladder, and made it so that when you inflate it, and it would uh, it would fit to, to my body. The only issue is, as you can see, it turns into kind of a donut and looks like I'm wearing an inner tube. <laughs> I remember, I forget who it was, but there's someone who was like, oh, it's like boobies. <laughs> I'm gonna take this thing home and get weird with it. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the idea to, uh, to make a, a shell that would go on the outside so that when I inflated it, instead of going both ways, it just go that way. So I wrapped myself in, in some, uh, some plastic wrap and then had a friend put some epoxy on and then cut that and do a little shell, which was this harness. This is the original shell harness. First and, one you uh, ever made? First one ever. First one, wow. I think the first one anybody ever made. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, you, know, you can see the shell is quite loose and floppy, but it did actually work. And I started realizing that there was something to the idea of having a shell for, for support. Um, and uh, that led to, to these harnesses, which are quite strong and a lot more durable. And uh, I was making a bunch of these custom. Um, I got well, one actually. Yeah, yeah I remember actually like, uh, you know, we started hearing about these hard shells and, and harnesses were one thing that never really had much development. You know, they'd been the same for like 20 years. They were the same as a windsurf harness. And it was really interesting. Like he was making custom ones with cool graphics and the riders were like reaching out to you like independently being like, dude, these are sick. Like, how can I get one, you know? Yeah, it was really cool. You know, I, I was just down in Santa Cruz kind of pretty new to kiting and all of a sudden was talking to all the, all these big deal riders on, you know, Facebook or things like that. And uh, started, started wanting to make them for other folks, but I wanted to make every shell so that it fit people exactly and so what I came up with was I'd send people a piece of plastic they could heat up in their oven they'd mold it to their back and then send it back to me and then I'd use that as a mold to make the shell so this is actually I happen to have the one that I made for Sam it was my original harness probably ago. like how, how long ago seven years yeah, ago probably something seven, like that probably seven eight years ago so That's what my back looks like yeah so I'd basically have one of these put carbon fiber on it and then when the carbon fiber was done pop it off take a saw cut it to shape and then start sewing all the padding and everything in. Um, one thing that was interesting too is uh, a lot a lot of folks have asked or like sort of think that harnesses should be different for, for guys and girls. And uh, here's another shell. This one's Sensi Graves, um, another one of our riders. And what's interesting is her and Sam, obviously Sam is a very masculine body type. Sensi's pretty feminine looking, but on the one part of your torso where the harness actually sits, the curve is pretty much the exact same. You can see that way, they're both the same. That way, they're both the same. Um, and, and really the, the sort of, the shape doesn't change until you get lower, sort of more down into this area, but that's not that's not where the harness is. And yeah. so that, I, that, that's why the harnesses we make are why they're on unisex. It's actually really interesting. I, I only learned that yesterday, but it's crazy that with such different body shapes and yeah, oh. Yeah. Lumbers are very similar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then when it came to having to, to, to make the, the mass produced one, which what we did is I had hundreds of these and basically measured all of them, put it into a big spreadsheet, figured out the average shape, and then uh, and then that's what we based these off of. And it's kind of funny. There's one one other guy that you can see is quite, quite different from Sam, but yeah. this guy was, uh, I mean, you know, he's just, he's just his own shape, but he also happens to be the exact average of the hundreds <laughs> that I did. So. If, if you ever watch this, I forget his name, but if your last name is De Silva and you Isn't ever got he it. a pro rider, De Silva? Is he? I don't know. There is a there is a sponsored rider. Oh. Like Madison De Silva, maybe? Oh. I don't know. But yeah, well, if, it could be someone else. If, if, if you are him, just so you know, every ride engine harness is custom <laughs> to only you. And so, yeah. <laughs> special. Cool. Anyways.
Well, that's the story. It's really cool to see how far it's come and, and how polished the harnesses are today. And also like, you know, I don't notice a huge difference between my custom one and the production ones now, you know. They've really found a shape that works for everybody, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're just, you know, continuing to, to improve them and we got a lot of cool stuff coming, but I'm, I'm really happy with where they're at. And, yeah. You know. And what's really cool is we're currently at a trade show and now every stand has a hard shot on it. That part's trippy. It's like, they, you walk, and like, it's not even like, kind of similar, it's like, it's us with different stickers on it. Basically. Yeah, <laughs> so. basically, they, they've all copied Coleman's design, so yeah. That is the story of the hard show harness. I thought it was a good opportunity to share that little story with you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Like the video. And yeah, see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you. <laughs>